Hi everybody, it's Shanna with shannasweetsblog.blogspot.com and I'm saddened to say that today I come with a sad heart because hopefully some of you guys watched my video last week of my swaps that I'm in at Creative Soup for the Soul well, my partner in the pincushion swap emailed me today and said her pincushion broke. I wrapped it in fabric, but evidently that was not enough for dear postal service. So, um, I just am sick over it, and luckily I was off work today, so I've spent the last um, three hours or so uh, making a new one. So, Christina, I'm going to mail you this one, and they can't break it. <laughs> it's plastic. So, um, this is actually a container that I get Parmesan cheese in at Sam's. See, it is not breakable. It's plastic. But it's very big, and um, it will hold lots of goodies inside. Anything you want to store will be able to be stored in that booger. Um... So let me show you what I did this time. Um, I used the, the cotton fill and batted the top, squished it all down, and um, put some nice pink ribbon around the lip of the edge. It actually screws on, so really easy. Comes on and off. Um, I put some black mesh bling which, uh, you know, Trish sells at the uh, store. I put, um, she likes butterflies, and although the butterfly is not center staged on this, because I had this great idea and I wanted to try it, I absolutely love it. Hopefully she will too. I did put some butterflies on here though. So we have a purple one, so she'll remember me, because I love purple. She likes pink. Um, so we have a purple one that I made out of just some um, fabric flowers and some bling. Then on the back one here, we have, um, this was actually a die cut, well, if you can see right here, this was a die cut of a butterfly, and I glued it to the um, fabric, rosette fabric wired ribbon trim that Trish sells. I just glued it down, and then I cut the edge, cut it off at the die cut. I used some bling for the body, and some of the little... Um, pink sprigs. Trish always has this too in some kind of different colors. For the antennas, um, some more trim up here. And over on the sides I have two little of the applique uh, butterflies. They're so soft. With of course some uh, recollections coming around out the sides. Of course I put um, I wasn't sure what I wanted to do in the bottom because of the charms that I hung from the front, so I just did the mesh bling. And in the front, hopefully you guys can see this really well, I took the bird cage, a really thick one that I had that I'd gotten in a swap, and I um, painted it cream colored with paint first. Then I lindied the um, lindied with a soft a soft pink. And I did that a couple times to get a really nice pink. Then I um, used Versamark to wet emboss it and put Udi. So it's got this really, it's got the shimmer from the Lindy's, but then it's got a nice thick um, coating from the Udi. And then my bird down here, I um, Versamarked him first and stamped a couple swirls, embossed it with white embossing powder. Then, um, then I then I sprayed him with some moon shadow copper, cocoa bean copper, or something like that. Um, did that first, and then I took the cocoa bean magicals and I painted the bottom, um, the twig. And then I have this little boa that I had bought, and I used that to make some additional feathers behind him. Then I took, because I had these holes in the bottom of the um, bird cage, I made some little charms to hang. And my husband says, but when you set it down, it's going to smash. Well, if you set it on an edge, or you can set it down, you know, this way, and um, it's fine, like that. Or, let's see if I can, don't look at my yucky floor. Um, 
you can do it where it dangles on the edge. So, so Christina, I'm going to load this video tonight. I'm going to try to get it out in the mail tomorrow on Tuesday for you. Um, I'm really sorry. Learned a lesson. Must be a lot more careful with uh, glass, apparently. And I don't know that I wrote fragile on the box, to tell you the truth now. So, um, it's my fault. Hopefully she can pick all this, some of the stuff off that I used and be able to salvage um, that aspect of it. So, um, this is like, hopefully it, it makes up for it. I'm really sorry. Come join us at um, creativesoupforthesoul.ing and um, you'll have lots of fun. Thanks.